Hi there, it's Pride Daily for Friday. Let's kick off with something positive ahead of the weekend, or rather someone, the top-notch queer ally that is US actor Nick Offerman. As you may well know, he was part of a gay storyline in a special episode of The Last of Us, the post-apocalypse HBO drama. It portrayed the love story of Bill, his character, and Frank over the course of 20 years, and it was very, very good. Offerman's roles just won him a Best Supporting Performance Prize at the Independent Spirit Awards in California, and he's used his acceptance speech to call out the bigoted backlash to the episode. When homophobic hate comes my way and says, why did you have to make it a gay story, uh... We say, because you ask questions like that, it's not a gay story, it's a love story, you you asshole. Oh, the filthy mouth on him. Offerman also won an Emmy for his performance earlier this year. Maybe we can be glass half full kind of people on this next one. So, yes, the lower house in the Czech parliament has rejected bringing in same-sex marriage and full adoption rights for queer people. But it has agreed to give more rights to gay couples in a civil partnership. This now gets debated in the Senate there, Parliament's upper house, where some senators say they'll push for complete equality. And here's the response from the governor of Texas after human rights groups wrote to the United Nations about anti-queer discrimination in the US state. Republican Greg Abbott, who's clearly a very articulate man, says the UN can go pound sand. Apparently, that is a saying. The organisations are concerned about seven new laws there. One bans gender-affirming medical care for trans children, while another stops universities from having diversity and inclusion schemes. Have a nice weekend. I'm Kev McGrath. Off to pound my sand. See you Monday.